What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Juan TV, and I am back with another video, you know what I'm saying, in your face, you dig how you talking about. And in today's video, we will be looking at my Air Jordan 1 collection. This is probably, why well, not probably, this, this is the most sneaker that I have in my collection. I think I have, let me count them, maybe. I have 15 pairs. Well, 14, because technically I sold one of them, but I haven't shipped them off yet. So technically I have 14, but it's gonna be 15 in the video. Whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna get into my Air Jordan 1 collection. You did. Alright, so for the first Jordan 1 we have, it's actually a custom. This is the first and only custom I've ever gotten done on a pair of sneakers. And that is the Air Jordan 1 Laser. As y'all can see, I got them custom into the, the Royals. You know that y'all know that's my favorite Jordan 1. Dot the bottoms and everything, you know what I'm saying? He said these when they was fresh, they was crazy. Now they all cracked up and whatnot. You feel me? But yeah, this is the first and only custom I've ever gotten done. This I'll probably never get rid of just because of to me this is priceless for me, you know what I'm saying? This is a dope shoe. I just can't wear it no more, but I'm still gonna keep it in the collection, you know what I'm saying? These. First custom I ever got done. Get it. Alright, for the next Jordan 1 we have is the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Greens. And this is the one that I just sold because I got it for $10 on a raffle wheel. And I'd be stupid not to sell it, I ain't gonna lie. I do like the shoe, I think the shoe is very dope. I like the green hits, the red, all that. Just the two, I would have kept this shoe, but it's two things that I can't get over that's making me not keep it. It's one, I wish the tongue was white. If it had a white tongue, go crazy. And there's this back piece where the swooshes connect. I don't like how it looks on the shoe. So for those two reasons, I can't keep the shoe. Yes, I am a sneakerhead that likes small details. So like that, that really, that really threw it off for me. But yeah, Air Jordan 1, Lucky Green. Next Jordan 1 up we have is a women's release, just like the last one. This is the Air Jordan 1 UNC to Chicago. Dope fire shoe. You got the Carolina in the back for his college days. And you got the Bulls red colorway in the front for when he played for Chicago. You know what I'm saying? This is a fire dope shoe right on the bottom. Shoe is hella fire. And the quality on these is just amazing i got these as a valentine's day gift last year you know what i'm saying these are dope hey time out. all right so next up these two i'm gonna actually do together because they're technically a pack they didn't come out together but i like to call them a pack we have both of the cojp jordan ones the neutral grays and the midnight navies now the midnight navies is a more superior colorway in my opinion if you haven't watched that video of me comparing these two go check that out but this one is still dope too though like just the different tones of gray silver you know what i'm saying got the the jump man not jump man wings logo and the little bubble right there same thing with this one i said these these are two dope shoes to have in your collection you know what i'm saying these are just fire they are hella dope you did Next up, I actually got these for retail, surprisingly. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to get these, but my girlfriend, she really liked them when she seen them. And I was like, I'll get them to match where, you know what I'm saying? And I've had these since they came out last year in April. And we've never worn them the same time, but it is what it is. But, talk about the Air Jordan 1 Court Purple 2.0s. Now, I do appreciate my girlfriend for you know, kind of pushing me to get these, because these are fire. These are fire, you know what I'm saying? I did have the white laces in there. I wore them with white laces, I didn't like it, so I had to put the black back in there to make it look better, you know what I'm saying? But, it's just a better shoe to me. Like, I like these more than the 1.0s, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people disagree with that, but I really like these more than the 1.0s. This is just like a purple Chicago one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these are fire. Get it. The next Jordan 1 we got is the Air Jordan 1 Smoke. Grays, you know what I'm saying? Technically, I got these for retail because I had the Pine Green 2.0s, but I sold that shoe to get this shoe and I only paid retail for the Pine Greens. 
I, no, did I pay retail? I paid close to retail. I paid like 150, 170, something like that. So, yeah, I thought it was a good trade because, like I said, I didn't really like the pine green 1.0. I mean, 2.0s because that little jump man patch on the side. I didn't really like that. But when I saw these, boy, these are five. These are five. So I had to make that move. You know what I'm saying? These is hella dope. These are crazy. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they got the union vibes. You know what I'm saying? Everybody say poor man union, whatever. This is in my top three Jordan ones of 2020. Y'all know that if y'all watched that video, but yeah, these are fire. These are fire. You did. Next Jordan one up, man. Y'all need to stop sleeping on these because these are fire, bro. These, you can still get these for a very good price for Jordan one. And that is Air Jordan one, Gem Red. Now these are fire. I used to have the Bloodline Jordan ones, but to me, this is a better colorway than the Bloodline. I really don't like the Bloodlines. They play it. They just there's so trash to me but this colorway right here you got the glossy black upper the white the varsity red sale midsole and these are fire and that that leather that leather is crazy bro oh my god but yeah these these are crazy you can still find these for good prices like 200 dollars 220 you can still find these for very good prices so you know what i'm saying if y'all like these go ahead and jump on it you know what i'm saying like i said this is one of my favorites in my collection you did. Next Jordan one we got is the most recent, recent, the most recent pickup. Actually, is the first Jordan release of 2021, and that is the Air Jordan One Volt Gold. You know, I just dropped the review. Go ahead, and check that out. But these are fine, man. People don't like them because of the Volt and the Gold together. But like I said, I think they clash well together. You know what I'm saying? This is a fast shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's just fire. It's different. You know what I'm saying? Got the reverse tongue tab. Got the bolt and the gold in the back. Cell midsole. Matte black on the toe cap and the eyelets. This is just a fire shoe. It's fire. Just look at that, man. Whew. But yeah. Jordan 1 Volt Gold. Yeah, it is. Next Jordan 1 we have up. Everyone was talking trash about this shoe before it came out. But of course when it came out, it sold out. You know what I'm saying? But we got the Air Jordan 1, Shattered Backboard 3.0s. Yes, the one and the two is better than the 3.0. I like the 2.0s the best. But this is still fire shoe. Yes, it's like a trash bag. I get that. You know what I'm saying? The only gripe I have about this shoe is the outsole. I have no problem with the midsole being a sale color. It's just that the whole thing is a sale, you know what I'm saying? Let me get another Jordan 1. Alright, so you see how on the Volt Golds you have that sale and you have the black underneath. That's kind of how I wish these were instead of just all sale because it looks makes it look real bulky. But it is what it is. I feel like it's still a dope shoe. The prices definitely went up on these, you know what I'm saying? They were pretty low when they first came out. But now they didn't creep back up. So yeah. But this shoe is definitely fire. It's dope. You can, you can man, shit. Whew. But yeah, Air Jordan 1, Shadow Backboard 3.0. Alright, so we down to the last five. I saved the last five because they are probably my favorite or most sentimental in my collection. So next up, we got the Air Jordan 1, Dark Mocha. Y'all knew it was going to be in here, you know what I'm saying? Fire, dope shoe. It ain't going nowhere, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna trade these for the off-white fives, but I found other solutions to the off-white fives. You know, y'all seen the video. Yes, I got them both. I'm glad I did that move. Yeah, these these are fire. These ain't going nowhere ever. They stand in my collection. Like Mocha Three, that's some of y'all gonna get on me for that. But Mocha Three is my favorite three ever. Having them on feet, looking at them, that's my favorite three ever. So I had to get the Mocha 1, you know what I'm saying? Mocha 1 isn't the same thing as a Mocha 3. But, same concept, still dope, still fire, you know what I'm saying? I really like these. You did. Next shoe up is a shoe that I would never get rid of. This Jordan 1 is the first Jordan 1 I bought with my own money. Yes, the Laser Customs I got, those were the first ones I ever had. But these are the ones I bought with my own money. First shoe I've ever bought with my own money. And that is the Air Jordan 1 David 
Latimer. Now you can still find these for under retail. Like nobody really checking for these. But for me, the shoe is fire. You know, they got the crimson upper, metallic navy with the university blue on the tongue. Like that's, this is a fire dope shoe, you know what I'm saying? I don't get why people are so sleep on these. Like these, these are fire. But yeah, this is just a fire shoe. It's, it's dope, first shoe I bought with my own money. It's never going anywhere, it's in my collection forever. I love this shoe, no cap. You did. Next up is a Jordan one that actually crept up in prices in the last couple of years. Cause I remember I bought these for under retail on Nike. You know what I'm saying? And nothing on stays on Nike anymore. After release day, it's gone. So we talking about the Air Jordan One Storm Blue. This is on most people's list. Look at it. I've worn a mess out of these. Good God. But this is on most people's list the cop. For Jordan ones, like I said, I bought these for a hundred dollars in 2017. You know what I'm saying? Now these about three, three fifty, I believe. So yeah, like, like people are really enjoying this colorway all of a sudden. But like I said, they've always been fine to me. They dope. You know what I'm saying? You can tell that I've worn them. That big old dip right there. Damn. But yeah, Jordan one still on blues. These are five. If you didn't know, this is actually an OG colorway. People do not know that. These were a sample in 85. I don't think they actually released the 85. I think these were just a sample. They were called Kentucky back then. But now they, ch they changed the name to Storm Blue. Yeah, these. These are fire. I really like these. I know I say that about most of my Jordan 1. I really like them. But I just. Jordan 1 is my favorite silhouette, man. These. These just hit different, man. You did. The last two I'm gonna show together as well because they are both respectable in this category. One of them I do like more than the other, but I'm gonna show them together because they kind of go together. And that is the Air Jordan 1 Bread and the Air Jordan 1 Royal. Now, to me, these are the top two Jordan 1s that ever come out. This is my favorite shoe of all time, ever. And I mean ever, no shoe will beat this ever but this right here is a good second place you know what i'm saying you cannot go wrong with a bread colorway these were gifted to me as well i believe they were gifted to me as a birthday gift was it my birthday i don't remember what it was it was something i don't know i know these was a gift for my girlfriend though. i don't know what it was for though but yeah these are fine these are dope you know what i'm saying this I got from round two RVA in 2017, right after they came out. I bought them used in a good, very good condition. You know, so I didn't warn them and beat them in the ground though. You see that that heel drag creeping up. You know what I'm saying? See that heel almost gone. I need a new pair. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying not to buy a new pair and just wait till these are actually gone. But I might have to end up pulling that trigger and buy a new pair because I need Royals, man. I gotta wear them. I just can't not wear them. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, got the bread and the Royals, you know what I'm saying? My, I need the black toes, you know what I'm saying? I don't really care about the Chicago's. Everybody love those. I don't get why. I mean, I get it, because that's the, that's the OG colorway. But to me, that's at the bottom of the list. It, to me, it's Royal, bread, black toe, and Chicago. Like, I really like the black toes. So if y'all got black toes in a size seven or six and a half, Hit me up. And that's the last two shoes I got in my Jordan 1 collection. We got the Royals, we got the Breads. Hey, you talking about? All right, y'all, so that was my Air Jordan 1 collection. Tell me what y'all think about it. To me, personally, it's not where I want it to be. You feel me? Because I only got 15. Like, when I thought of this video, I thought I had like 25 or 30. I don't know where that came from. That's how much I thought I had, but then I actually pulled them out and counted them. I only got 15. I thought I had way more than that. But it is what it is. But yeah, this is my favorite silhouette. Definitely the most shoe that I have in my collection, you know what I'm saying? The second most sneaker I have in my collection might be fives. It's either fives or elevens. No, not elevens. Either fives or um fours. And that's not even close. But yeah, that's my Jordan 1 collection. You know, let me know what y'all think about it, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's not where I want it to be. I don't have a lot of Jordan 1s I want, I don't have, and that's just because they are way too expensive to me. Like a GR colorway, 
I'm not paying a resale price that's high for that. You know what I'm saying? Like the Jim Reds, I did pay resale, but I only paid two two twenty for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause like on my list of Jordan ones that I don't have is top threes. Those go for insane. The Obsidians, for some reason, those go crazy. Like I really like that shoe. I really want those Travis Scott ones, of course. You know what I'm saying? But like, like there's a lot of Jordan ones out here that I want that I don't have. And that's just because the resale price is just ridiculous and I refuse to pay for it. So, yeah, if you got some shoes you don't want, hit me up on Instagram. You did. But, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, all that hot shit. It's your boy Juan TV. Roll the webpage subscribers. 1K on the way. It's your boy Juan TV. And I'm gone. You did. Take your home, man. Uh, chill. She said, boss up. So I dropped the top on that bitch. She went fucking with.